Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Nature City Podcast. I'm your host, Carl Pardelli, and I'm also CEO and co-founder of the company, having starred Nature City over 20 years ago with my wife, Beth, and since then, it's been our pleasure to have served over 500,000 Americans by offering them the best supplements we can make. If you're looking for help with brain health or cognitive function, it could be different aspects of memory, attention, recall, or even helping mood, then you'll be happy you tuned in today. We'll be discussing the impressive results from the latest study with a Sicilian grape extract called Cogni Grape. You may know that some research studies have found that drinking grape juice may help brain health and cognitive function as we age. This support is attributed to powerful polyphenol nutrients called anthocyanins and proanthocyanins found in grapes. These polyphenols help protect brain cells from free radical damage, support a healthy inflammation response, and may even help strengthen the transmission of information from one brain cell to another, which makes it easier to think and communicate. Now, results experienced in the research with grape juice have been mixed in part because the levels of these key anthocyanins and proanthocyanins are inconsistent in different grape juices that you may find available. Cogni grape really changed all this and provides a consistently high levels of these key brain health supporting nutrients. The grapes used to make Cogni grape are grown in Sicily, Italy, in the very rich soil in the areas surrounding Mount Etna, which is the main volcano in the Mediterranean region. Is an active volcano that actually erupts regularly. In addition, eastern Italy is considered the optimal area to grow grapes because of large temperature fluctuations during the day at night. They have hot days and cool nights. This causes an intense red pigmentation in the grape flesh. As a result, the juice obtained from these grapes naturally contains a potent combination of the beneficial proanthocyanidins and anthocyanins shown to pr- promote brain health, and cognitive function. Not only have the research results with Cogni Grape been impressive, but the participants were also healthy middle-aged adults. I'm going to emphasize this a few times because it's really important. In contrast, most of the research with grape juice was conducted on folks already experiencing cognitive decline. By definition, it's harder to show improvements in subjects with already normal cognitive function, but this was seen in those taking Cognigrape for 12 weeks. The new study on Cognigrape was published in the journal Foods and verified the results seen in the first study, which also involved healthy middle-aged adults. Now, the first study only collected results at the start and the end of the 12-week study. In this new second study, they also tracked results after two weeks, and four weeks, as well as the end of the study, which is 12 weeks, to assess how quickly Cognitive Grape starts working and its progression over time. This study was really well done as researchers use a battery of methods considered gold standard tests to assess cognitive performance and function. These included the mini mental state examination, commonly known as the MM. SE, which assesses five areas of cognitive function, including working memory, verbal memory, recall, and orientation. The MMSE grading scale goes from zero to 30 points. If you score between 25 and 30, you're considered to have normal cognitive function. Now, I should point out there's also a kind of age-adjusted grading curve with this test. So, for example, at my age of 58, if I get a 28, that's probably more akin to something like a 25 or something less than 28 if I was in my mid-20s. So it is age-adjusted. But if you get between 25 and 30, you're considered to have normal brain function and cognitive function for your age. The participants in this new study had an average score of 27 at the start, already well within that normal range. After just two weeks, those taking Cogni Grape experienced a significant improvement in cognitive function compared to the placebo group on average. Results continue to get better with further improvements after four weeks. And by the end of the 12-week study, those taking Cogni Grape improved their score from a already good 27 at the start to a very impressive 29.3 after 12 weeks. Remember, 30 is a perfect score on this cognitive test, so making that much of an improvement with the Cogni Grape supplement is really, really a strong result. Also important, the change in the Cogni Grape group was about 2.4 times greater than the improvement in the placebo group, and this was very significant from a statistical point of view. Okay, so Cogni Grape users did very well in this particular MMSE uh, cognitive test. What else was done to 
test the efficacy of Cognic. But the researchers also administered another cognitive test known as R-bands. R-band stands for Repeatable Battery for the Assessment of Neuropsychological Status R-bands. The researchers also administered another cognitive test known as R-bands. R-band stands for Repeatable Battery for the Assessment of Neuropsychological Status which is a mouthful, so we're just going to say R-bands. And R-bands give scores in five domains of cognitive performance, immediate memory, visual special, uh, visual spatial abilities, language, attention, and delayed memory. Those taking Cognigrape experienced a significant improvement on all five of these domains tested after four weeks and at the end of the study. Similar to the MMSE test, the rate of improvement in the Cognigrape group was about 2.4 times greater than the rate of improvement in the placebo group. And like with the MMSE test, there was a steady improvement in scores throughout the 12-week study period in R-band scores. But the researchers still weren't done. On top of this, cognitive function was further investigated with a test called ENB2. ENB2 includes 16 subtests assessing memory, attention, recall, and other aspects of cognitive function. Again, the Cognigrape group did very well, making a significant improvement on 15 of these 16 tests during the study. I was curious about the one test where it wasn't a significant improvement compared to the placebo group. It was a test for abstract reasoning or pattern recognition. So if I were to say to you two, four, six, you would say eight to continue the pattern. On this abstract reasoning test, those taking cognitive grape improved, but the placebo group also improved too. So it wasn't clear that the improvement was due to cognitive grape or that was really making a significant difference in this case. But strong and significant improvements on 15 of the 16 test areas is pretty impressive, especially in folks, as I mentioned before, who already had a healthy and normal cognitive function at the start. The total composite score for this ENB2 test improved at a rate that was about 2.3 times greater than the placebo group in line with the MMSE and R-bands test results. From start to finish, I think the results of this cognitive grade study are really impressive and confirm what the first study illustrated, which is taking the potent cognitive grape Sicilian grape extract daily can make a notable difference in your brain health and cognitive function. We include cognitive grape as one of the seven supplement ingredients in our Trueberry 7 drink powder. One of my favorite supplements, Trueberry 7 is a powerhouse product for healthy aging with many benefits for brain health and cognitive function, cardiovascular health, immune system function, and much more. We include cognitive grape as one of the seven superfood extracts in our Trueberry 7 drink powder. One of my favorite supplements, Trueberry 7 is a powerhouse product for healthy aging with many benefits for brain health health and cognitive function, cardiovascular health, immune system function, and much more. You can add a scoop of Trueberry 7 to water and drink it, or you can combine it with other drink powders, protein shakes, smoothies, or any other way that's convenient for you to take. You can get more information about Trueberry 7 at naturecity.com. And as always, we're here to help you if you have questions. That's it for this week. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see future episodes or listen to us on your favorite streaming service, whether it's Spotify or Apple Podcasts. This is Carl Pardelli, and I'll see you next week.